Hello friends around the world, you're watching 180 View and in the next 15 minutes we will be discovering exciting facts about the life of students here in our sunny and beautiful state of Arizona and compare them to the traditions and culture of students on the other side of the world, in Moscow, Russia. If I say let's play football here in America or in Russia, I would invite you to play two completely different games that have very little in common. So what are the differences between European soccer and American football? How did American football get started? And why is it such a huge part of American culture? All of the answers are in our next episode. Each fall there is one sport that transforms Americans into giants, bears, patriots, ravens, dolphins, cowboys, Steelers and Vikings. This game is called American football. It's a different sport because ultimately it's the only sport like it. You know, it's not played internationally but for the most part. I mean, obviously there's Canadian football. I know in Europe they try to do it a little bit, but but it's it's unique from the standpoint that it's almost controlled and only really played in America. So from that standpoint, I think it's 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 got a huge following and it's it's kind of that the cult following, I guess you could say. There is something special about this game that makes Americans so passionate. Football is very important to American culture, actually. I would say it's the best American pastime. All the other sports are kind of boring. In football you get to hit, and you get to get aggressive and stuff, you get to let out energy. My favorite part of it is the quarterback play and just kind of the strategy of how to use the different people um, and kind of see that development, just a good play and fun excitement of it. You're so energized and you're just, everything, all your troubles go away, you're just so excited and uh, to cheer on your team. I like the touchdowns, I like a little bit of the extra point, field goals, but mostly the touchdowns. There is a lot more to football than meets the eye. It is a very complex game where strategy is just as important as physical strength and stamina. Football uses military terms like bomb, trench, blitz, neutral zone, quarterback, defense and offense. Every team even has its own signal system that is used during the game for secret communication between the players. And of course, like in any other sport, successful game requires lots of practice. Football is a big part of my life. It takes up most of my time. Like every, my life basically revolves around it. I've been playing since I was about seven years old. So yeah, I've been basically just been playing all my life. Football is a huge part of the American college experience. And it was even created on a college campus. Walter Kemp, a student at Yale University, is considered the father of football. And today, college football has grown into a multi-billion dollar industry and is just as popular as professional football. It's huge because a lot of those towns or a lot of those cities don't have professional teams, so the college team is their professional team. That's one thing people I think love more about college football is the students. I mean, obviously making the experience of a tailgate more electric and, you know, people graduate and they still come back and do it. They're a part of the Alumni Association. So the difference between maybe college and pro is just the electricity you'll feel on a college campus. A lot of traditions surrounding football were also born on a school campus. Cheerleading, mascots, marching bands, and team rivalries have become an inseparable part of this sport. And so has the custom of tailgating. Tailgating is a huge party that happens right in the stadium parking lot before the game even starts. Americans like to beat the traffic and get a good parking spot at the stadium. So since they had plenty of time before the game, they would socialize and enjoy good food and beverages. Thus, the tailgating got its start. Today, the tradition of tailgating is hugely popular. People make a full day out of it and arrive as soon as the parking lot opens. In some cities, fans would start tailgate as early as 8 in the morning, while the game wouldn't start until 7 in the evening. Barbecue and drinks, games and activities, and an exciting energy before the game make tailgating fun for students and the whole family. The most important football tradition is to show your loyal support for your team. And there are lots of creative ways to do it. Well, my favorite NFL team is uh, the Vikings. And the way I show my, my support for them is by wearing um, the Vikings t-shirt and just showing my support by watching them on television. My favorite team is the Arizona State Sun Devils. I show my support by throwing up a little bit of a pitchfork, rocking the maroon monsoon like such, and then showing up to a game where we crush Stanford in their hearts. 
wearing t-shirts, hats and jackets with team colors or school logos has become a billion dollar industry. I have all the different logos that ASU has. I have the, the Sparky and then the, the Pitchfork sign and uh, basically every time they change logos I get the next t-shirt. Cheering for a successful football team also helps promote the college or university and it really builds up school spirit. You know, football is one of those games that, that the, typically it seems like the school spirit is kind of driven in a lot of cases from their football teams. Football is one of those things where anytime you can put 100,000 people all in a stands and, and cheering and going crazy for, for a college, certainly it's going to promote school spirit and people want to be a part of that, they want to be a part of the excitement. To be a part of a college football team for a young student can be very prestigious. It opens up many financial opportunities, like scholarships and grants to help pay for school. But being just a great football player is not enough to make it on the team. Being a part of our football program is no different than being a student on our campus. I mean, uh, the first thing that our kids are, are students here. In order for them to move on and to get the opportunity to go play at, those, at the four-year level, they have to academically be sound. It's not a matter of, of any, anybody comes here just to play football and they don't have to worry about the academics. They have to do the academic aspect of it. If they won't academically go to school and they won't take care of their business in the classroom, just like it's expected of all the students in the, in the campus, they can't play football here. You know, I'm a student athlete, so it goes hand in hand. I put a lot of work off the field in the, in the books, and then I put a lot of work into onto the field. So next time you want to support hardworking student athletes and your college football team, don't forget to show up early, wear your school colors, and don't be afraid to cheer the loudest. One, two, three, cheer! <clears throat> hey, Hard, what's this? That's my resignation letter. You're resigning. Why? Because you're constantly ignoring me. You're half as active as you used to be, and you get stuff like this. You've been putting me under a lot of pressure lately. That's why I'm ready to quit. I, I forgot. I'll, I'll do better. Please, don't quit on me. OK, but remember, it's not what you say. It's what you do. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. Let's go for a walk. Uncontrolled high blood pressure could lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late. People all over the world have their own favorite sports. This month, 180 of you announced a photo contest, searching for the best picture of your favorite sport. And here are our winners from Arizona and Russia. And the winners are Sandra from Mesa, Arizona, and Alona from Moscow, Russia. If you want your picture to be featured in our next edition, visit our Facebook page to find the contest details at www.facebook.com slash 180 view. So we just learned a little bit about American football, and now it's time to find out more about the different sport with the same name from the other side of the world in Russia. So what are the rules of European soccer? What traditions surround the sport in Moscow? And what does football mean to Russian fans and Russian culture? Find out straight from Moscow from our Russian reporter, Daria Didula. In childhood, we kicked the ball to the self-made gates. Girls and boys, elder brothers and parents, football gathered everyone in the yard. And so it was for centuries. Yes, ancient Greeks, Chinese, Indians, Lakota, Inuit and even Australians also played in the ball with feet. Only the ball could be anything, and rules of the game were different. In 1863 the British were tired of the mess and they came up with the general rules. The balls were made of rubber and with a rubber camera. Football became the most popular sport in the world. Since 1930, the premier international football competition, FIFA World Cup, is held. Every four years, 32 countries gather stadiums with millions of fans. As in any game, football has its own rules. On the field, measuring 120 by 90 meters, two teams of 11 players are kicking a ball. The sense is to get the ball into the opponent's goal more times. It happens twice for 45 minutes. Team's strategy and placement on the field determines the coach. The judge, referee, monitors the discipline during the match. The required elements of players' equipment are a t-shirt, sports briefs, gaiters, shields and boots. Global sportswear brands work on the uniform and balls, and the players themselves are like movie stars in popularity. To Russia, this game as a sport came in 1897. 
when the first recorded match of Commons in St. Petersburg were held. In addition to the national team in our country, there are about 110 professional football clubs. From Russian, I like Spartak. Since childhood, I support them. And Dad taught me too. In the world football, I like Liverpool for their solidarity. This is of course CSKA Moscow. Favorite team Spartak Moscow. I love them because Igor Titov and Vladimir Tikhonov played there. Since my childhood, I'm a fan of Dynamo Kyiv. Unfortunately, they are now on the decline, but still, they are always in my moral support. Fans are an integral part of any football match. Attributes are so bright and varied that at first sight it is possible to determine which team the person supports. In Miet, two football teams are organized, the university and the campus. Guys show good results, winning prizes in different competitions. Football for me, it's not just a game, it is a style or way of life. Football helps me forget everything, all the problems go away. When you are on the field, you are as in free flight. First of all, it's a splash of some kind of negative and positive emotions. For me, football is probably passion of my life, which I do with the first class. And football in general probably gives me almost everything that you can get from life. I probably have 10-15 years of playing football. At first I was playing myself, and then, because of injuries, I had to leave football. Well, then I felt that my vacation here, to be with the guys. Football is a game not only for boys, but also for girls. In our university, in the past academic year, a women's football match was held for the first time. Just perfect. Well done, all that they have arranged such an event. What is football? For someone it's a sports game, for others the guys running around on the field. An excitement or the opportunity to relax after a hard working day. And for someone, life work. Preventing wildfires. That's all Smokey wants for his 70th birthday. Smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. The word football sounds very similar in English and in Russian. Football and football. But the same cannot be said about the rest of the lingo surrounding the sports. So please pay close attention as we repeat and translate to Russian 10 of the most commonly used words from this show. Game. Игра, field, поле, ball, match, exercise, упражнение, fan, болельщик, coach, тренер, player, игрок, team, команда, victory, победа. We hope you enjoyed our show. Stay tuned to MCTV for more exciting programming. And don't forget to visit our Facebook page to participate in our contests, watch our shows online, and communicate with your fellow students from the other side of the world. Take care.